Vidal. Vidal. All right. <clears throat> Uh, what I want to do is we want to see if we can factor this. So always the first step in any time you're factoring is always to factor out common terms. What do they have in common? So I look at each one of these terms and what I notice is, um, hold on, sorry. What I notice is they all have an x squared in common. So what I can do is I can factor out an x squared and they also all share the number two. This has two, this has two, and then two can be pulled out of 40. So, uh, ooh, that's what it was. Never mind, I was thinking of two different numbers. I was thinking of 10. So if I pull out a 2x squared, all right, I'm left with x squared uh, plus x minus 20, all right? Because remember, if you wanted to like double check your work, remember when you're like pulling out an x squared, it's kind of like dividing, or a 2x squared, it's like dividing out a 2x squared. And if you want to check your work, just do the straight property again. 2x squared times x squared is 2x to the fourth. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. And 2x squared times negative 20 is a negative 40x, or a negative 40x squared. So now what I gotta do is I gotta look at and I say, all right, now I need to see, can I factor this? This is a trinomial. And what I need to do is I need to see, can I factor this trinomial? And the factor trinomial is where we kind of look at, we look at our C, which is, you know, AX squared plus BX plus C. We look at our C and our B. And I say my C is a negative 20 and my B is a 1. That means the coefficient of each of those terms. I say, is there any two numbers that multiply to give me negative 20, but then add to give me 1? And you can say yes. Neg or negative 4 and a positive 5. So what happens is, those are my two factors. So I can say 2x squared times x minus 4 times x plus 5 is how you factor 2x, 2x to the 4th plus 2x cubed minus 40x squared. 